The Passion for Excellence Award was created in 2011 when Dr. Robert G. Witten retired as CSIU Executive Director to honor his legacy of innovation and commitment to excellence. This year's award is presented to a CSIU staff member whose passion for excellence is described in these key words by those who work alongside her and by those she serves. If you asked me to describe Kim in three words, I couldn't. Um, she is creative, she's dedicated, she's motivated, she's passionate, she takes initiative, she's a listener, she, and all those things are you know, towards the staff and towards the students. She took it upon herself to come up with a big lesson for fourth grade students um, to teach them about autism. From that day on, those other students treated our students with such respect and, you know, they helped them, they included them. She excels very much with kids with very difficult behaviors and developmental disabilities and getting them back into the regular education setting with their peers, but she does it in a way that she not only helps the student become educated, she also helps those around her perform to the best of their abilities. She sets the bar high. She has high expectations. She is just an, an amazing person. She has patience like you wouldn't believe. And her goal is for them to succeed. You know, that's her passion. She's their advocate. You know, if anybody like steps on any of those kids' toes, you know, she's right there. You know, she's their advocate. She doesn't want it made easier for them. She just wants it made fair for them so that they can succeed. She's helped on so many ways, just from helping Colby to being a listening ear, um, being his cheerleader, being my encourager even for me i mean you know just telling me i'm i'm doing the right thing or you know giving us guidance when i say what can i do to help him on the weekends or what can i do to help him with this at one time i had a student who was not even able to sit in a chair as soon as i walked in the classroom i saw that he was on the floor so my first goal was for him to be able to sit in a chair and by the parent visitation of that year, when his mom came in and observed for that day, she left in tears and I went out to the hall to find out what was wrong. I thought he did a fabulous job and she told me that was the first time that he ever sat in a chair. So that was pretty amazing for him to be able to do that. And you can read his name four times a year in the Daily Item newspaper because he is in the uh, listed in the honor roll every marking period with very, very little accommodations. Sometimes I think, are we making a difference? But in the end, I always know that we are because I think of where they began and where they are when they leave, not only at the end of our program or the end of the school year, sometimes it's the end of the day and we see a change and there's nothing more rewarding than that. She's an extension of our family at this point. I don't know what we'd do without her. <laughs> this is our kids, really helps me and I love her. This isn't a job to Kim, this is what she loves to do and it definitely shows in her work every single day. Congratulations to the 2019 Passion for Excellence Award recipient, Kim Zock.